Hi folks, Travis Fox here with FoxOptic.com. Today we're going to be taking another look at your Pulsar Trail uh, Thermal Night Vision Scope. Um, I always call it Night Vision Scope, but that's another thing I kind of want to bring up is, you know, there are a lot of people use these in the daytime where you get uh, some some animals moving around inside some heavy cover. There are a lot of there are a lot of times when thermal can be a big benefit in the day as well, and you absolutely can use a thermal day or night. But uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the different reticle options that you have inside of your scope, and I think the easiest way to take a look at that is going to be on the Stream Vision application. So we're going to go down inside the menu. And as you can see right now, I've got uh, basically like a circle uh, dot duplex reticle up there. Um, I'm going to show you up against that light. You can see where the center of that's black. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go inside the menu with a long depress on the center menu button. Uh, if I needed to, I would use my up uh, down buttons here, which are the buttons immediately above or below uh, the center square button to select the reticle setup. And then inside the reticle setup, uh, you can see that there is the reticle that I'm on. And you can use those up, down uh, buttons again to scroll through and look at the different reticles that are available. And as you can see, there are 13 reticles inside the device that you have to choose from. A uh, pretty wide a variety and a range of reticles for different applications. A lot of them have a ranging function. Uh, which will make it easier to figure out the distance to the target. Uh, this is one of my favorite reticles, and I'll show you kind of why here in a minute, so I'm going to stay on that reticle. But if you did want to switch between reticles, like let's say I wanted to use that one, uh, whichever one you're highlighted on, then once you're highlighted on it, a quick tap on your center square will lock that in as your choice. Uh, so again, I'm going to go back to the X54i, which is, is one of my kind of standbys. And we're going to use that one for the demonstration, and that's also one of the reasons I kind of prefer that reticle. But, um, you know, everybody has a different choice on which one they like better. So, as you can see, again, I've got this in the black-white mode. Um, if you want to see how you would change that, is right here. And you have several different options inside of there's a solid white, a solid black. Uh, white black or black white. I, you know, for the way I've got my uh, palette set up, you know, on the inversion, that's the way I like it. And I'll show you why here in a minute. Uh, if you wanted to change your reticle brightness, you know, turn it up or down a little bit, you can select on that and you can intensify the reticle. Um, or you can turn it down if you feel like it's a little too bright, uh, you can back it all the way down to one. Uh, but for this demonstration, actually, I think I'll leave it up as bright as I can. So what I kind of wanted to show you here also is we're gonna, I'm going to show you this on this light up here. I'm going to nuke the unit real quick. But on the light, you'll be able to see... Whoops, I ghosted that one. I've got it in manual. Hang on just a second here, and I'll get that cleared up. I, I forgot that I left this in manual, so I'm going to have to manually nuke it. I've got it cleared up there now. So now that I'm up there on the light, uh, you can see that the center of my reticle is black on the white target. Where I like that is, is if I was in a white hot of an evening and I'm out there hunting, most of my background other than my target subject is going to be dark. And if my target subject is going to be light, then that gives me a good contrast. So when I'm placing my, my reticle on to take my actual shot, I get a good contrasting difference between them. Also, if my target starts running, I get a good difference in contrast between the background you know, uh, ground around my target and those the plexus coming out off of the center of there so that it helps me uh, when I'm trying to figure up for like a running shot where to where to gap out. So again, anytime that you're going to uh, do a polarity inversion, uh, you know, or color palette inversion, you can see there where now I'm in black hot and it, my reticle inverted also. So the center of that reticle is showing up white and the outer is in black, but you can see there if I drop down a little bit, like in that scenario where most of my background would be white, how visible everything outside of it is. You know, so that's what you're looking for is to get the two standing apart from one another. You can see over there, I can see the drywall screw sitting in the wall. We got a pretty good, uh, it must be a pretty good temperature change between inside and outside. But 
anyways if you have additional questions on that or if there's something I can help you with uh, we're going to continue doing a series of you know just informal videos like this how your how your device works and what the changes are you know or perform can be performed inside there uh, give us a call toll free 877-806-2977 with any questions you might have uh, if you're interested in one of these and, and would like to talk about it my name's Travis Fox Oh, my company is Fox Optic. You can check us out on the web, www.foxoptic.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.